Number 1. The description of goods in goods declaration must be sufficient and specific to enable goods to be identified for a. Classification b. Customs valuation c. Statistical purposes or d. All of the above Number 2. Which among the following is not true regarding description of goods in goods declaration? A. The quantity of several classes of goods must be separately declared according to headings or subheadings. B. A general description in the goods declaration is sufficient. C. Totals of each heading or subheading must be indicated. Or letter D. None of the above. Number 3. Which among the following should be contained in a commercial invoice? A. Cost of containers. B. Description of imported goods. C. Price paid or payable, or D. All of the above. Number 4. Which among the following should be contained in a non-commercial invoice? A. Port of entry. B. Description of the imported goods. C. Quantities in weights or measures of the goods, or D, all of the above. Number 5. ICC, as mentioned in Section 415 of the CMTA, refers to A. International Customs Court B. International Criminal Court C. International Chamber of Commerce or D. International Chamber of Customs